this man is walking in a field when it's suddenly quite breezy. This woman is too curious. These dinosaurs snarl. These two gentlemen have been seized by an unnatural desire to dance. This newly born woman also seems to be dancing. This man takes off his hat, throws it at a statue, and knocks the statue's head off. And this woman seems to have an extraordinarily long neck. Oh, you next. Maybe, monsieur. May we what? Ah, uh, no, I am next. Oh, yes, well, beg your pardon, yes. Name, please? Fifi Lebeau. Fifi Lebeau. Her, her. <laughs> You're an absolute bugger. Bessie, you will be careful of that night of glittering, won't you, Bessie? Yes, Miss Pretty. During the 1970s, many TV producers relied on extracts from movies to give added production value to studio-based shows. These were some of the finest programs of their time, offering as they did the best of world cinema. Screen Test with Michael Rudd. Clapperboard with Chris Kelly. Looks Familiar with Dennis Norden. And Film 71 to 98 with Barry Norman. Nobody cared about spoilers. There was no such thing as a spoiler. We were seeing moments. Moments from movies. Real movies. And sometimes these were movies that it was almost impossible to see in their entirety. The clips from those movies were all we had. And so we watched them again and again. I am Dracula. Mr. Harker, I'm glad that you've arrived safely. Aunt Lucy. It's only a kangaroo. Yeah. What are you getting scared for? Now, of course, there's a, a wealth of entertainment. Maybe too much. All available on Netflix and Amazon and Disney Plus and all the rest. But there is a problem that exists with that entertainment. It's a kind of... It's a strange problem to describe. Because even though I think there's a dislocation with the past... The stuff's all there. All the movies are available there on Disney Plus and Netflix and Amazon and all the rest. The trouble is that finding them is like finding needles in haystacks or tears in rain. And to find them, you need to know you're looking for them. Today we kind of need a, a Michael Rod with his intensely difficult observation questions just to 
point us in the right direction of anything that hasn't been advertised on the side of a bus in the last two weeks. In this way, I feel that YouTube could be one of the few, if not the only place capable of putting us in touch with all those, those great, crazy and beautiful moments from the last 120 odd years of cinema. If that sounds appealing to you, trust me, I'm here to help. So thank you for listening. And here is one of those moments from 1930s The King of Jazz.